The next cartoon we're going to play through is called The Moose Hunters, 1937. Okay, so in this one we found Pluto, if you remember, at the end of the Mad Doctor level. Now he's going to actually help you out along the way. Although he seems immune to sticks landing on his head, unlike Mickey. So as we move forward, here's, a, here's another sort of rendered object. Now this huge boulder falling down was rendered on these $30,000 silicon graphics machines. So it's another example of where we've used it in the game. Um, obviously, interesting timing. Let's see if I can, yeah, just run past. Now, brilliant. We're right on the head. There's Mickey with his lily. Let's try that again. <laughs> Watch out for the sticks. Now, this is a really fairly basic level. The key thing in this is Pluto's going to give us a clue as to when the uh, when the mooses mooses is that a thing? Can't be mice. When the moose runs <laughs> runs across the screen. Oh, so there you go. He kind of points and jumps. And so whenever Pluto points and jumps, I know it's time to uh, get out the way of the moose. Now interestingly, this background image you see here, uh, the far parallax, parallax layer, the, the backmost layer there, we actually used that in a, in one of the early prototypes for Sonic R as a, as a background uh, screen. So if you look at my video on uh, Sonic R, one of the early prototypes, you'll see that image in the background. Well, this is where we got it from. Oh, this very level. Right, enough hanging around. I'm going to get badly killed if I don't keep moving here. Okay, oh, yeah. I'm doing brilliantly. Oh, here we go. Firework, okay. Save position at least. Oh man, I'm really showing my platforming prowess off here. If you could see my face right now. Okay, okay, okay. This will be fine. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> slightly scared about that, but as we saw from the start, that's Moose Hunter and Mickey. Uh, so I guess we've reached the end of this section. Okay. Congratulations, Mickey has found Moose Hunter Mickey, but has also found a moose. Okay, so this is probably the most technical 3D section uh, in the game in terms of the number of tricks going on. I'll link to the video that explains exactly how we do this. Because um, it's well worth the watch. It's extremely trick tricky to code, but it's also pretty tricky to play. Um, every time you eat an apple, your speed uh, you speed up. And so you have to keep your speed going. If you run through water or hit a rock, you'll slow down and the moose gets closer. Like this. So. Let me see if I can concentrate. So the water slows you down. Now the apple, suddenly the difficulty curve spikes and you get like the occasional apple. And you see here I've missed it. And so I'm getting severely caught up just because I missed the one apple. Let's see if I can just get one. Yep, just enough to keep moving. Get that one. Okay, oh, missed it. Did I get it? Maybe I got it. It's a tricky old section this. But the reason a lot of these games were tricky was if, if you didn't have them tricky, the, ga the game playthroughs, you, I remember there was a game, oh there we go, we did, we did it. Congratulations, Mickey has escaped from the rampaging moose. Um, there was a game called Shinobi on the Sega Mega Drive, great game. Um, me and my brother used to play through it, see who could do it the quickest. And you could complete the whole game in 25 minutes. Um, and obviously nowadays games you expect 8 hours of gameplay, so the reason these difficulty curves on these games were so hard was because they wanted you to go back and try again because you know the teams were much smaller then generating content uh, was expensive not so many people bought games and so the games were just a lot smaller and so to make them last longer they were made a lot harder 